Hello guys and gals, Lloyd Dobson coming to you from my branch office here in Treasure Island, Florida. If you're looking at the screen, it says some strategies for wealth and happiness. You're going to learn today how to be a bigger winner. Choose a lifestyle of achievers, develop the critical advantages that lead you to major accomplishments and prosperity. How to attract opportunity and begin a stronger, more successful life today. My hope is that you will find a few of these ideas very useful to you right now. Unfortunately, I don't know you. I'm not familiar with your dreams or your problems. But fortunately for you, I don't need to be because the ideas that we're going to be talking about are the fundamentals to the art of winning. They will help you achieve your most inspiring dreams guaranteed. They are, in fact, the fundamentals for wealth and happiness. And as we proceed, you will see very clearly for yourself just how these ideas can make a major difference in your life right away. Where did these fundamentals come from? I didn't make them up. I first discovered them in my mid-twenties at a time in my life when I needed some new ideas. I had gotten off to a great start in my life. I was raised in the central part of the United States in a town called Independence, Missouri, a great place to grow up. In fact, my mom, who is 92 years of age, still lives there, and my dad just recently passed away, but both did very well there. Mom is doing great, and I'm very proud of her, and she has been a powerful influence on my life because of her strong character and integrity. My parents have always been great examples for me. After graduation from high school there in Independence, I went to one year of college, and then I decided I was smart enough, so I quit, which was one of my major mistakes in life. You see, success has a very simple equation. It's knowledge plus action plus a positive attitude equals success. And unfortunately, at that point in my life, I started lacking that first part of the equation. However, I was ambitious. I always had worked hard, and I figured I wouldn't have a problem getting a job, which turned out to be very accurate. So with a head full of dreams and ambitions, I headed to the West Coast and Southern California. The Dodgers had uh, rec uh, actually recruited me, uh, although I was playing Class D ball. I got injured, and uh, then I had to end up finding a job, and uh, worked very hard for a couple of years, and later... At age 25, I started taking a new look at my life. My paycheck amounted to a grand total of $125 at that point in time. I was far behind on my promises, on my bills, and pretty discouraged. I was far from making the progress that I thought I should have made. And I was willing to work hard. That was not my problem, but it was clear that it was going to take more than hard work. So what do you do to change the direction of your life? I thought, well, I could go back to school without college. It doesn't look, you know, too good on the application. However, with my bills, going back to school seemed like a pretty tough decision. I didn't have any money to start my own business. Money was one of my problems. I always had far too much month left over after the money if you've ever been in that position. I remember once losing ten dollars and I was physically ill for almost two days over a ten dollar bill. Some of my friends tried to be cheerful and they said well look maybe some person who needed it found it. But you know what that wasn't really helpful. I must admit at that time in my life benevolence certainly hadn't seized me. I was a person who needed to find $10, not lose $10. So that's where I was in my life, behind on my dreams and constantly thinking, what could I possibly do to change the direction of my life for the better? Well, at age 25, good fortunes came my way. And many times, it is hard to explain good fortune. Why do unique things happen to you when they do? I don't know. Part of that is a mystery to me. I call them, though, miracles, little miracles from God. 
I met a man, a very unique man, by the name of Carl Eigenbrook. When I met him, I remember saying to myself, I would give anything to be just like him. I wonder what it would take. Well, to make a long story short, this very unique gentleman took a liking to me. And a few months later, after I had met him, he hired me and I went to work for him. I spent the next five years working for him. And the best thing he gave me was more than a job. The best thing he gave me was the benefits of his philosophy. And those philosophies were the fundamentals for success. How to be wealthy. How to be happy. And sure enough, his ideas have worked for me. So I'll always be grateful for meeting someone on how my life has worked out. For many years, I've shared these ideas with my business partners and people I've worked with, my friends, and they have met with equal exciting results. I don't claim to have all the answers of how to do well, but I do have some answers that have worked extremely well for me and hundreds of other people. So take these ideas and edit them all you want. You certainly don't have to buy everything any one person says. However, give me a chance. If something sounds good, buy it. If it doesn't make sense, discard it. Remember, don't be a follower, be a student. All of the ideas that Mr. Eigenbrook shared with me stem from a group of very important key concepts. And these key words are very important if we're to understand and add significantly to our wealth and happiness. So, this is Lloyd Dobson coming to you from my branch office here in Treasure Island, Florida. And look for me on the next video where I'm going to cover those fundamental concepts.